Today I'm going to show you how I solve the mystery of connecting Zoom, Zoho CRM and Zoho Bookings as one system. Um, if you are trying to do it, you will go to your Zoho Bookings and you will see that Zoom is not one of the available integrations with Zoho Bookings. I have requested Zoho Bookings to create this integration a few months ago because I am using Zoom as my video conferencing system and Zoho Bookings as my booking system. They are working on this integration for some time, but as you can see, it's still saying coming soon. About a month ago, uh, I really wanted to solve this mystery, so I put some time together with my developers and we solve this mystery. So right now we are fully integrated between Zoom, Zoho Bookings and Zoho CRM. Today I'm going to present you the high level solution. Of course, I'm not going to dive into scripts, but I will show you how the solution works. And the main thing is when someone tells me it's impossible, uh, it drives me nuts. As a kid, I was not that good with impossible. And as an adult, uh, this problem in my brain is even worse. So impossible is not really an option. So let's begin. I will show you the path of how I am getting new prospects or new clients. And I will show you how the scripts and the integration taking place uh, one after the other. So first of all, most of the leads will come from YouTube. Uh, People will see the video, they will go to the booking URL and they will ask for a, an appointment. So that's what we're doing right now. I will book an appointment for uh, January 1st. Uh, let's go to January 1st. Beautiful. And let's book the end of the day. So that will be test bookings is the first name, company will be company 11 and that will be lior7777 at gmail.com and this is my phone number and the reason will be test so now the user just created this meeting this appointment and the appointment is going into my calendar so let's refresh the calendar and you can see the booking the booking will have all the relevant information so that's step one as you can see here on my crm the contact was created exactly the same way that we uh, provided the information over zoo bookings in the zoo booking section which is a custom section i will have the important information which is the meeting name the start and date time zoom link duration everything that I need on my system. So first of all, I do have a Zoho booking created. In order to do this integration, we had to use Zoho Flow, uh, to use the Zoho bookings, and whenever uh, Zoho Flow is raising a flag, basically we send the information back to Zapier, and Zapier is producing the Zoom link. So it's a bit complicated, but it's doable. I have created multiple emails that are going to be sent 48 hours before the meeting, 12 hours before the meeting, and one hour before the meeting. Those uh, email templates will be sent to the user and they will ask them to tell me if they cannot show up to the specific meeting. Let me just show you one of them. This is as an example, uh, 48 hours before the appointment email, it's just saying that I am going to see the person. This is also the link to the meeting. And if they cannot show up to the meeting, please let me know as my time is limited. Okay. Now, all this integration, the bottom line is, saved me about five hours a week. Because whenever a booking is coming to my system, me or my assistant supposed to open the calendar, grab the person information, go back to Zoom, and of course you need to log into Zoom, create the, uh, the Zoom uh, meeting, copy the information, push it into the calendar and save it. 
Now, if you do it for each one of the meetings, you're talking about lots and lots of time. It's about five hours a week. Now, imagine using this integration and this automation, how much money I saved in the long run. And also, those are kind of tasks that no one wants to do. And I also had multiple, like many times, I had problems when it was done manually because you're generating lots of different Zoom links and all the Zoom links look something like that. And you can understand that if by mistake you copied one client to another client, you will not be able to see it because the link is just jumble mumble of different characters. So it also saved me lots of pain uh, when I was booking the appointments. So in this session, I just wanted, first of all, to show you that when someone tells you that something is impossible, probably it is possible. You just need to invest a little bit of more time into it. Now, another thing is that uh, this integration is possible. Right now, the way that I created it, it's serving my needs. And uh, of course, if you need help to connect Zoom with Zoho bookings, I already overcome this problem and I can, of course, I can help you with that. So that's it. That was the session. I hope that you like the creativity behind this solution. If you like this session, a thumbs up is always appreciated. Thank you very much for watching this session. I will see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.